Okay, YouTube, this is Maker Steve, and uh, today we're going to remove um, the stock glued on build plate from this Ender 3. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've got a, uh, a print stuck on there, and I've just been uh, fed up with that happening over and over. I've already done it to my other Ender down the road. Um, and we've got a couple of options here. We've got uh, basically the uh, polycarbonate plate um, with the uh, mat that glues to it. And we've got the Creality branded uh, magnetic build plate. Um, I'm going to go with the magnetic build plate. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to like that better in the long run. Um, but basically, there's a... Uh, mat that is stuck to uh, the build plate. So I preheated um, the heat bed uh, up to about 80 uh, degrees Celsius and we'll just start in a corner and we'll peel it up. Uh, just keep in mind this is hot to the touch but uh, once you get it started it kind of comes right along for you. Um, most of the work you're going to be doing here is with a hot bed, so just keep that in mind. Um, we'll get this thing coming up. And this does take a little bit of time to get done, um, but definitely provides better results. Um, I'm going to do a showdown shortly on the different options you have for uh, build plates. Um, the glued one is absolutely the worst because your print, if it gets stuck, you don't really have any options. A lot of times I use canned air to remove build plates um, or uh, prints from the build plate, um, but that wasn't working on this. It's got a really flat surface and it just wouldn't come up and it's, it's stuck on there uh, and you're going to run into that. So you got your scraper and you've got your uh, razor blade and you're going to need a little bit of alcohol. You can go grab that. Uh, we got a little lucky so some of it right in the middle is removed but I'll just put this a little bit on here and this is going to take a little bit to get it about right, you're going to want a pretty clean surface when it's all said and done. I uh, usually take the knife, spread the stuff around a little bit, and that'll help break down the glue. Um, it's going to take a few razor blades at least, depending on how difficult it is. Um, and basically, you're working that alcohol in to help break down the the adhesive and then we just kind of start at the top and drag along and you'll see it come off uh, the alcohol helps ensure what you're removing is pretty clean if you can get good peels like this that's going to save you some effort we'll just stack that stuff up right there This one seems to be coming off pretty good. There's some residue that's stuck there. You will find at some point your knife's going to be, or your razor is going to be too. Uh, nasty to actually remove. Um, I built but, um, all the build surfaces um, that I have off Creality's store on eBay. Um, it's kind of my little honey hole for ender parts.
goal is to get this as clean as possible um, they also have a Creality branded uh, borosilicate plate which is uh, pretty nice I almost call it magic um, at this point I kind of think it's too good to believe but uh, print cools down and pops right off. It's got a uh, surface on it that uh, makes it so the print can't lock into the uh, onto the bed and create a vacuum tight surface. Um, seems pretty nice and I'll compare them. I'll get some prints done and just kind of show how easy it is for each one to come off. This one's coming off a lot better than the last one I did, so uh, that's a feature. And you're looking for smooth metal. Uh, it gets to be a little bit of a pain around the screws. You will find some surfaces that are, are burrs in the metal that uh, make it difficult to keep shaving. I'm going to get a new razor blade. And you're looking to get all the adhesive off that you can as you go if your screws are buried well enough you can just go right over the top of them Looks like this is wrapping up pretty well. The last one I think I spent a good 30 minutes on. think we got it we'll do some cleanup with uh, a little bit more alcohol and uh, paper towel um, if there's too much adhesive on there the paper towel will stick so you'll know right away I like what I'm seeing though Put a little bit more of this on there. And remember the the uh, heat bed is still hot, so I would imagine you don't want to breathe. It's kind of cooking off of it right now. I bought these enders uh, used so they didn't come up uh, with uh, the newer options but if I were to purchase again I'd always go with the uh, 
polycarbonate plate and let that sit for a second. This is probably the best upgrade you can do out of the box. Um, you can see I've got some spots where the adhesive's hanging on a little bit. I'll put a little bit on my rag or my paper towel. I'll just wipe it around those parts. And you just want to get to the point where you're not picking up adhesive or material anymore. Put a little bit more of that on there. Spread it around. And when we're done, we'll have no more prints that are stuck that we can't get off. Uh, they tend to just pop right off with the polycarbonate. Um, the magnet's not a bad option either, if that's what you choose to go with. It just doesn't seem as thick or as durable to me. Pretty good. So we'll scrape the last little bits off. And you should be looking for the most part at bare metal. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Last little bit of booger there. tacky but it's pretty clean and we'll 
we'll grab our new magnetic material. Now, you don't want this to uh, end up using uh, the wrong direction with your magnet for whatever reason they said uh, sometimes it won't stick properly that's the way we want it if it's uh, said if it won't stick turn it 90 degrees that's got a tab on it double check one more time yep that's what we want Feel the adhesive back. Cool it down. We'll fold this back like so. Line it up on the. The back the way we want it. Put it on there, looking for no air bubbles, so I just go left to right like this, and I just pull the paper, I'm always working in the same direction, all the way across. Got a new magnetic surface, no air bubbles, nice and level. And now all we have to do is level, and we're ready to go. So there's your tip for the day. Um, I'll do a comparison where I print and show you how they all work. This glues onto the top of that. I'll put links down below for where I get them and they bend and pop. This is a little thicker than the uh, one that came up with my uh, stock enders. Um, I'll give you an example of that real quick. This is a polycarbonate. It's definitely not as thick and it's way more flexible than this option so I don't know but I think it's going to give enough flex we'll get to that in a, a later comparison but right now we've got our new magnetic build plate it was done in a good 10 minutes or so and we're off and ready to print after we level this maker Steve signing off